Hey, what's up guys? I've got a quick unboxing here for you. I say quick, but I, I'm not always right when I say quick, but hopefully quick. This is um, the Ringu collection, or apparently just Ringu, no the. Um, this is the series of films, the Japanese films, that the American films, The Ring, were based off of. Um, it includes Ringu, Ring 2, excuse me, Ringu, Ringu 2, and Ringu Zero, I assume, which I'm assuming is a prequel of some sort. Um, this is uh, newly released from Arrow Video in the U.S. here, uh, I think a week or so ago now. It was a little bit longer, actually. I think it was the 29th. So yeah, just about two weeks, approximately. And um, I was not initially going to get this, honestly. Um, well, let me explain while I open this. I had actually I had pre-ordered it like a while ago, out of just kind of like, sure, I'll get it, why not? But um, but then I kind of canceled it, and then I was like, eh, I don't really need it. But then I was noticing it was I think it was on Amazon for about. 65 bucks, something like that. And actually, did the ends like that? I don't usually do it like this, but I just I kept the stuff on there. So here's the case with the plastic still on it. And you know what? Fuck it. I don't like that. Who am I? <laughs> I haven't done it for anything else I've gotten. Actually, let's take a look at this. Hey, anyway, what was I saying was I, I initially didn't purchase it because I thought 65 bucks, you know, it was a little too much, I thought. But then after the release day, I checked, and it was going for about 80-something, and then on other sites, it was sold out, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I knew I should have bought it, so I I looked around to see if I could find it for cheaper. I actually found this, uh, the same the same set that's on Amazon everywhere, I guess. I uh, actually, Blu-ray, uh, excuse me, Best Buy, I think it was sold out. At least when I, was, when I was checking for it, it was sold out. But Bull Moose had this for $64.99 or $65, whatever their price, their pricing is kind of different. But I was like, ooh, there it is, and they had it in stock, so I ordered it from there. Um, I have no idea if it's still there. I haven't checked, obviously. And that was the um, middle of last week. Um, it took about half a week to get here, actually. Bumos is pretty uh, good on their shipping. And uh, they don't charge for tax, at least not in Minnesota they don't, for whatever reason. So actually, it ended up being cheaper than if I bought it from Amazon. So I guess that kind of worked out. But uh, anyway... It comes in a nice sturdy case. It's a little dented on the top there, which is kind of dumb, but, you know, I'll take it, I guess. But here's the synopsis. In 1998, so that was two years, if, what, two, two or three years before uh, The Ring in the U.S. came out. I think that was 2000 or 2001. It says, In 1998, a director, Hideo Nakata, Dark Water, which I actually have over there somewhere, too. I haven't watched that either. Psh. Uh, unleashed a chilling tale of technological terror on unsuspecting audiences, which redefined the horror genre, launching the J-horror boom in the West and introduced a generation of moviegoers to a creepy, dark-haired girl named Sadok Sadako? 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 I don't know. The film's success spawned a slew of remakes, reimaginings, reimaginations, and imitators. They're actually, yeah, I remember in the early 2000s there were a lot of, like, J-horror of all American releases, I suppose. There were a lot of, obviously, Japanese versions, too, but it started a genre. Uh, let's see. But none could quite boast the power of Nakata's original masterpiece, which melded a traditional Japanese folklore with contemporary anxieties about the spread of technology. And here's the synopsis here. A group of teenage friends are found dead, their bodies grotesquely contorted, their faces twisted in terror. Reiko, a journalist and the aunt of one of the victims, sets out to investigate the shocking phenomenon and in the process uncovers a creepy urban legend about a supposedly cursed videotape, the contents of which cause anyone who views it to die within a week, unless they can persuade someone else to watch it and, in so doing, pass on the curse. Actually kind of reminds me of, um, it follows a little bit, uh, similar, like, passing a curse on, but I guess that's how curses work sometimes. Era Video is proud to present the genre-defining genre trilogy, Ringu, the film that started it all, plus Hideo Nakata's chilling sequel, Ringu 2, and the haunting origin story, Ringu Zero, as well as the lost original sequel, uh, George, is that Ida, Aida's? I, I can tell that's an I or an L. Oh, duh, it's an I, not an L. Um, George Aida's Spiral, 
gathering. I actually recognize the name of that spiral. I, don't, I didn't know it was related. Um, gathered together in glorious high definition, it's supplemented by a wealth of archival and newly created bonus materials. So, very cool. Limited edition contents: a brand new 4K restoration of Ringu from the original camera negative, approved by. Actually, I'm not going to read all these. You can pause on that. There's a bunch of special features. Um, I think, actually, I think Ringu might be the only one that's newly remastered, which is fine. And then a bunch of uh, special features from all the other films. So I can pause that and look at it, but, you know, very cool. And here's the technical specs. It says Region A, and I assume it is actually Region A. Um, usually it doesn't work the other way around. Although, I don't know. Very cool. Nice box set. And now we have Ringu. Actually, they did release the first film alone. You could, you could buy just Ringu by itself, and it has the same packaging, or the same um, imagery. But this is actually different. It's got all three of these have very similar artwork. Which is kind of creepy, actually. There she is coming out of the well. There she is almost at you, and then she's coming through the, the window or the, the TV screen or whatever that is. Very cool. Not to be sold separately. And it has the special features in all of these too. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and there's the synopsis, I suppose, too, for all of them. Well, I guess that's the synopsis for the first film that we saw. And it does have reversible artwork. Cool. I like the white, actually. Very nice. I think I prefer the white. Here's Ringu 2. There's a synopsis for that. You can pause that. Same with the special features. Ringu 2. In the same uh, style for the background art or the reversible art. The ring 2. And it does say the ring here, not Ringu. Interesting. I've actually seen none of these two. I've seen the Ring and the Ring Two, the uh, the U.S. versions, but I have not seen any of the original films. So that's why I was excited to get this. There is the um, what do you call it? The uh, prequel, I assume. The disc, which is the same as the cover, um, and then. Although this one does not have, does not say ring up there. It has the Japanese instead. Although it does say it on the side. Interesting. The other one's did, didn't it? Yeah, that said the ring. Hmm. Oops, it is very cool. Although I would have been nice to get this before, you know, the month of Halloween and stuff. But uh, obviously, I there was a lot I didn't end up watching anyway, so... And this is a very similar artwork, I mean, on the cover. It's not thick, actually. Multiple, actually, it shows in the front here. There's lots of um, articles or essays and stuff, so that's pretty cool. On uh, all three films, I imagine, Spiral Out of the Loop. Cool. Fire was like an unofficial sequel or something, or I just read it and I don't remember it anymore. Hmm. Looking forward to checking this out. That's cool. And there's some assuming that's the transfer on the back here. Yeah, obviously, uh, Ringu has a specific transfer, and then the others are just HD, I think. Yeah. So that's cool. Which one of these has? Probably, I'm guessing, the first one. Spiral on here somewhere. Or is it on the second one? Oh, there it is. It's on the second disc. Hmm. Okay. Like I said, I haven't seen them, so I can't really discuss 
much about them. Um, let me know in the comments if you've seen it, if you like them. Um, I do like the, the, the US version. I haven't watched it in a while, but I remember liking it. So, you know, I'm hopeful. I'm assuming this is better, but, you know, who knows. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I think I got more, more stuff coming. I'm going to try to tone it down a little bit. Last month was insane how much I bought, so I'm going to try to recoup some of that money and just maybe pass on a couple things at first, but there's still things I'm going to get, so. Um, and obviously Black Friday's coming, so we'll see what happens there. And But that's cheaper, so it's a little easier to... Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll, you'll see more from me in the future. Maybe I'll do some reviews. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just thinking out loud. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again later. Uh, bye. <laughs>